circus performance has been going on for some time. I've been busy pruning. It was very active. Everybody was chasing everybody. But now the wild mallard couple is over there eating. Well, the female is eating. The male is standing guard. Might not be able to see well if she moves. Just beyond that table. He's protecting her. And then my ducks, they're trying to eat the fish food. And my mallard wants to go after the wild female mallard. So the male, wild male mallard goes after him. And they just go round and round. It gets very fun. Puffer Ducker is the noisy one. Female Rowan. Nope. Just can't have that. Get out of my food bowl. Get out of my pond. Now Mr. Peepers is after the wild mallard. Get out of my pond. But, now the wild mallard is not going to be happy because his mate is in the pond. So we'll see what happens there. I'm sure Pistachio is the wild mallard. I'm sure he's going to get back in the water. Oh, Yep, I bet you anything that wild ballad flies over here to the female. The female isn't very used to me. She spends most of her time on the nest. Over at the school, which is about a block away. But the male hangs around during the day. So she's a little spooked by me being out here. I tell you, it's like a circus. Okay, now the wild couple's together. And mine are together, and everybody should be happy. Ha! <laughs> but now she wants to go back over and eat, I'm sure. Sometimes they're quiet and they just let them go ahead and eat. And other times they make big fuss. I don't understand duck language. I know I do understand some of it. So that's the way it goes around here. And my fish are still hungry. See if I can give him some food while I hold on to the camera. That's the edge of my deck right there. That's one of my favorites, Dorothy Vader. She's the mother of all these black and orange ones, and the black and red and white ones. They have different eating styles. Darth Vader likes to grab, turn, and run. She's the only one who really likes that. It's, it's, well, because she's so big, she's so dramatic about it. Uh, 
Here's my big boy. Moon glow. Oh. Now let's fold it back in the water again. Now it's time for her bath. Now it's time for her bath. Then she'll want to preen. Then she'll want to go back and eat again. And then go round and round. Round and round. And then my other ones are going off to... I don't know. Going over to look at bugs. Yep. Now there goes the wild mallard chasing my mallard out of the pond. Well, sort of. Well, we, oh, confrontation. Stare down. No. Mr. Peepers is going to leave quietly. No fight. Uh, I don't know. Reluctant. Mr. Peepers is saying, stay. No, the wild, wild mallard is telling Mr. Peepers to stay away from my girl, who is in the pond taking her bath. And here comes the female, who I'm calling peanut butter. So the wild couple is peanut butter and pistachio. Isn't that something? They just stand there next to each other. Just puffing and puffing. So, my mallard, Mr. Peepers, goes off in the distance. And then he, Pistachio comes back to join his mate and is trying to eat. And take a bath and preen and go back to her nest. It's all very simple. That loud one is Puffer Ducker, the Rowan, who's now eating. So she interrupted the eating. Aha! See, I can't hardly see. She blends in with the scenery. But that's my female Rowan who gave up her 34 egg nest. So that's why the wild ones went back in the pond. Because along came Puffer, and she runs the show. She runs the show around here. She's she's in charge. Okay, you guys, you need some more. You need some more food. We want some more food. You don't need more food. You want more food. Now you can see the ducks off in the distance taking their baths. Sometimes there's a visiting great white eagle that comes and stands on the island. You've never seen her catch a fish. She preens and preens and preens and preens. Green, green, green. There's some little babies in there. They were born last year. The black and white ones and the red and black ones were born two years ago. And those are the only two years I've had baby fish. I've had baby, I've, yeah, I've had fish for about 15 years, but just the last few years I've had babies. <laughs> I'm holding the camera to be level with the, with the deck. Isn't that silly? So 
my ducks are way off in the, the distance now behind the they're behind the cherry ornamental cherry tree over there someplace probably bugging and slugging oh and there's a oh we just left there was a sparrow sitting on the chair the sparrows the sparrows pick up the duck feathers for their nest. It is so cute to see their little beaks just full of feathers. Sometimes they have so many feathers you can hardly see their, their little bodies. Oh, there's one on the fence now. Look at that. Isn't that cute? It's really tough on a windy day. Oh boy. You put one down to pick up another and then they lose them. Let's go back and pick them up again. So, the wild ones are back eating again. This is the, this is the way it goes. They eat, take a bath, cream, eat, take a bath, cream. Okay, I guess you've seen it all and I will sign out. Ugh. Circus. That's Buffer Ducker. Rowan Duck. And there's Pickadoo in the background. She's she's bugging and slugging. Polka Dot is sitting down somewhere doing nothing. Because he's old and tired and he's got a limp. So he doesn't do much of anything. That's my Pekin Duck. This Polka Dot is my Pekin Duck. He's about 14 years old. Now see, she can go along and she's very calm right now. Everything's okay. And then a few minutes later, then never, you know, then she just goes after the the wild ones. It's pretty crazy. going on one morning at 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. The wild duck is a, must have been a full moon night and she could see and she came in to eat something and everything exploded. Oh, they quacked for the longest time. Not fun. I put in my earplugs. Are you guys still hungry? You're not get anything else. That's it. There's my big boy way over there. Way over there. Sometimes in the early evening I'll get to see him jump. That seems to be when they they do their leaping. Okay, I'm gonna go get a cup of cocoa. Five from five from paradise. That's what I call my place. Paradise.